It's a hell of a long time. Fifth of November, 2023, we are in Gothenburg, Sweden's second biggest city. Gothia Tower is the biggest hotel in the Nordic countries on the left side. And we have the famous amusement park of Gothenburg, Liseberg on the right side. However, unlike so many times, it's not the city we've arrived in, it's the city we are leaving. The green and black team of Gothenburg or in Swedish Göteborg can be promoted to the top flight after 11 years of struggle in lower divisions. We are talking about guys, of course, round 29 of Super Atan, they play away in Jönköping against Jesödra. Jönköping is two hours to the east, so let's go by bus. And a warm welcome to HFE everyone, we have arrived in Jönköping for the Superettan round 29 fixture where second place guys are playing away to 13th place Jönköping Södra. I was actually meant to vlog a different game today but after a guy supporter texted me on Instagram about this one I ran a poll on Twitter and the results were quite clear. Well I ran a poll in the Instagram stories as well but much less people were engaged in that so eventually the decision had to be experiencing guys possibly going up today. Today's home team Yes Södra are on a relative playoff spot so they would definitely need the points today. The 1950 Auslandskan runners-up have arguably the best located stadium in Sweden, Stadsparksvallen. 7300 capacity and the panorama with the Lake Vatten, like you see in the background, and the city of Jönköping and the Swedish landscape. My first time in this city, a new stadium to be added, can't wait. I visited the game of today's away team guys in 2021, two years ago for the first time. They had barely a few hundred people in the arena against Gif Sundsvall and they also got relegated after relegation playoffs that year. They won the third year straight after that and have now one foot in the top flight Allsvenskan. Now before this round it was a question whether they can go up today mathematically but with the third place team Utsikt and drawing on Friday, it's possible today. All they need is an away win. I've vlogged this team another two times, link two and three in description respectively, two derbies they were, and they won both of them against arch rivals EF Göteborg and Örgruta IS, both this year quite massive. Their last Swedish championship title dates back to 1954 and they won it in exactly this arena we are visiting today against Jönköping. You could easily make a bet for a 1-0 win today to either side if you look at the last 10 head-to-head -head comparison, which is six victories to four in favor of Jönköping. The sleeping giant has awakened guys who Supporters took over Yun Shopping yesterday night. Do, do we have some light as well? They've even made a web page about today's event, which is called Guys is Going Up, as you see on screen. 30 supporters buses arriving, three to four thousand guys supporters expected. Hotel sold out in town. Come on. It's quite the occasion for them. Let's experience the march. Here we are. <laughs>
that's quite some mission to put the sticker up there. Wow. Look at that view behind me. Well, you don't see too much from the trees. Let's go closer. Thank you, Tony, for joining me today. You're one who wrote quite many books about guys. Can you tell the number and what they're about? Well, I've written uh, three books. Uh, one is a, a collection of 25 interviews with uh, famous guy supporters, uh, musicians, uh, actors and whatever. Uh, I was the editor for um, the 125th anniversary book. Uh, was released in 2019. And I published a book uh, a year ago um, with interviews with former uh, foreign players of guys from everywhere, in South America, Africa, Europe, obviously, and so on. Are they published in English as well or as for now only in Swedish? It's only Swedish at the moment. Um, there is not that big of a, a market for, for English uh, literature, I mean, re regarding guys. Um, you, never, you never know. Fair enough. I guess I have to learn the language then first properly. Yeah. Um, what would it mean to you personally to be promoted after 11 years of struggle in lower divisions? Well, I, w I was thinking about it on, on the way here. I mean, 11 years ago, what has happened in my life? My, my mother passed away. My dad passed away. My son, who is at this game, he was uh, 11 years old when we were demoted. Um, now he's 22 and he's on, on the verge of, of being promoted to the, the highest division. And it, it's a hell of a long time and so many things has happened and so many hopes and despairs but now we are on the verge of we can secure the promotion here today and it, it's going to be very emotional just not only because of this day but the past 11 years as well it can be seen with the, all the hotels being sold out three four thousand away supporters with uh, utsikt and drawing on friday the scene is perfectly set to be promoted what do you think is going to be today away win and the score prediction from you, maybe the well, players who will score? Uh, well, we, we basically need one point, theoretically, because we have so much advance goal uh, difference. and goal difference, right, that's right. But I think it would be nicer to actually secure promotion today, as we can celebrate with the team and the team can celebrate with us. But if you have been waiting for 11 years, you might as well wait another week. But uh, I, think, I think the team is going to secure it. They will probably face something they have never, ever met before. I mean, three, four thousand people on, a, on an away game. And every More than half of the stadium's capacity. Yeah, yeah. And everybody is, is psyched up for this, this game. And they're going to be psyched up bodies as well. We are a good team. We are second in the table. We should be able to, to secure promotion today. What did it mean to you to beat City Rivals EFK, who played uh, one division above you in the cup? Yeah, well... It, it's always nice to beat other teams from Gothenburg and IFK is, is the, the main rival, I would say. And we are their main rival as well. But um, <clears throat> I usually say that I have enough problems with my own team. I don't have time to think about other teams. So <clears throat> my main problem today is getting my team promoted to Allsvenskan. That's the main thing. Well, thank you very much for the interview and wish you best of luck with that. Thank you. Johansson, Matthias Chabon, Elias Fransson, Schöckstedt, Mika Lindgren, John Wernstig. Dog
Sportens gäster från Göteborg, Guys, börjar enligt följande. Lagkapten nummer 6, August Lägberg. I mål nummer 1, Märkin Krasnicki. Nummer 4, Axel Norén. Nummer 7, Joakim Åberg. Nummer 9, Gustav Lundgren. Nummer 10, Mervan Sirik. uppmärksamhet och domaren tillfälligt lämnat planen. Svensk fotboll har tillsammans renat med stora risker för allvarliga personskador, särskilt om de antänds i stora folkmassor. Många av dessa pjäser kan inte släckas. If guys find the back of the net in this game and take the lead, the, that roof above the away section will just blow up. long it wasn't the most spectacular of goals after the corner but it crossed the line according to the assistant at least the referee points to the center spot one nil guys only five minutes gone those limbs wow Might have been it. 
in the 30th minute that typical curved ball which bounces off the post and then goes out on the other side instead of going in the net. What a chance. With that the first half has come to an end. The guys started really offensively and the first goal came accordingly as well but after that a dull first half there were some chances and uh, both teams tried really hard in the middle of the park but quite an unenjoyable game without proper finishes. The support was great at times but there's much more in these two supporter bases especially guys who have pretty many fans in the home section as well looking for a bit more fierce second half a short service announcement before we continue traveling to create football content is incredibly special but it takes up a lot of time effort and money please support my work by sending thanks below the video with an amount you choose or via the channel's patreon page you see on screen and in the description if you don't have the intention of sending money please support hfv with a like a share and a subscribe on the journey of creating educational football content thank you very much for your help and a special shout out to my hosts if you're a teenager you just ignore what i said and spend the amount on your yourself saying what I did at your age. Don't forget to check out the channel's social media either. Let's carry on. Second half underway by guys who are one half away from getting promoted to Alsvenskan today. first excitement we had in the second half and we had to wait almost 20 minutes for it in the 64th minute. It's a really dangerous game what guys are doing 84th minute so almost the end of regulation time literally nothing happened in the second half was sort of cheating football as in for example in the Europa League final um, extra time and like one goal you can always concede literally always so guys are really on, on, on thin ice in this case and even though they eventually I'm quite sure they're gonna get promotion they would yeah I mean I get why they don't want to open up though, so th th that's fair, but uh, still, I feel they, they should have pushed a bit more for the second goal in the second half. Five minutes left.
bis 5 Minuten noch machen. Look at those people there, they're literally standing behind the goal. Just next to the field, like in front of the fences, in front of the advertisement. Oh, look at that! They're storming the pitch already, even though there's seven minutes of additional time. And they, they almost conceded actually in the in the 91st minute. Seven minutes of additional time, and the guys' supporters are already going nuts. I mean, you can well understand them, but it might be a bit too early. So now their own players are telling the the guy supporters to like please please go back to the stands because there was a, a loudspeaker announcement that uh, they will just interrupt the game if that doesn't happen and if they carry on staying behind the goal and not on the stands. Like we're literally, oh yeah, look at that. They were a bit too early with the celebrations, but uh, I'm quite sure they're gonna have their moment. Just, just let the match finish. Once again, the captain of guys was running over and telling the supporters to get back behind on the fences. And uh, now, total South America. Why? Because they are sitting on the fences. What a go, minute number 100, and it's 100% as well. Guys, it's going up after 11 years. Minuten tar Geis ledning med 2-0 genom Mie, Gustav Lundgren. Top left corner from the keeper's point of view, huge defensive mistake and it was taken brilliantly by Geis to uh, make the net shake once as well after that first goal. It will be funny to watch. Just at the moment of the final whistle, how uh, the Schöping players will run off the pitch because of the, because of the storming of the pitch by guys supporters and maybe some guys players as well actually. But we'll see about that.
guys in Al 2024, congratulations for being promoted. I'm looking forward to some cracking Gothenburg derbies. End of the penultimate round of Swedish second tier Super Ethan and guys are promoted to Alsvenskan. What a story this is, their expectations were nowhere near this as a side who just got back from the third tier of Sweden. Ye Södra are not safe at all, they desperately need points in the last round. A beautiful city with a cozy stadium, I hope I'll return at some point, it was a pleasure to experience these scenes as well. Warm greetings to you Tony, thank you for your contribution, it really took this video to another level. This documentary was only made because of your ideas guys, an Instagram message to my account made it happen as well as the interview because it was Tony's son reaching out to me thank you very much once again I'm really really grateful for it have you got any ideas or just want to be part of this developing football community if so feel free to join me on the channel's social media you can see all possibilities on screen I hope you enjoyed the content I was HFV VCS Nesta Gong